I'm very curious about this one. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh, I like this. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfields. <laughs> breakneck speed. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. I'm glad it gives you time to read that because you always feel like you have to rush to read. I think I liked a bit there. Oh, this looks very promising. Talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. Oh, this looks amazing. Can I quickly check if motion blur is on? I don't think so. Okay. How do we move in this game? Just the usual controls. Okay. Sherman's house. Ooh. Left mouse button to take a photo. This is great material for a news report. That's cool. Very nice. Ooh, and that's how you zoom in. Sweet. Sherman's house. <clears throat> Hopefully it's all loading well. Oh, that's my, my car. Hmm. <laughs> it's always with aliens you see this sort of stuff. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to assume that was me. Oh, that light's on. The lights are on, but no one's home. Oh. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave, we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Okay. Inspect the house. Let's close it too. I mean, I would shut it just to be safe, but whatever works. Hmm. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Some nice stock photos here. Okay. Can't open that, okay. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this? Mystery sky object seen here in Orono. Down to earth approach to alien visitors. Excuse me. Uh, the crop circle mystery. They saw something strange, straight, uh, strange lights. Mystify inhabitants of Tiffin on recent morning. Extraterrestrial hyperthesis still unproved. Who leaves a carton of milk out unless it's run out? Oh god. This is very, like, very cramped. I'd be incredibly claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. I can't speak today. Claustrophobic. Claustrophobic. There we go. <laughs> Doggo! No. Cute doggo. Oh, 
This is actually a nice house. Aside from it being cramped, of course. Nothing here, okay. This must be the daughter's bedroom. Ooh, very colourful. Ooh, what happened there? Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night I heard a strange noise. When I came in she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. With her blanket too. Mm. Well, almost her blanket. Ooh, that music. What's this? Child's drawing. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Yeah, so... Nice, friendly doggy, just barking at alien, and then... Dead doggy. Nice, cute doggy. Dead doggy. Let's leave it on the nice doggy. Okay. Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely you can hear very strange sounds. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Property of uh, Negan? Oh. The guy from Walking Dead. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. <laughs> Ooh. Very nice thing here. Hello. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Alien autopsy. Yeah. Okay, those are all the same. Hmm. Very pixelated one. If aliens do look like that in real life, just imagine what people would say about it. They'd be like, hey, I've seen you in the movies. You look just like it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the alien's just like, you're not supposed to know about us. Farmer's children's diary. Sticker, found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Just moving my microphone. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over they were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Hmm. Nice sketches. Oh. This is great material for a news report. <clears throat> Whew, all this speaking is making my throat hurt. What? 
Oh god. Oh. Jesus. F to use a flashlight. It's a good thing we had one. Let's close that closet. I was going to look on the computer as well. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. They are not little green men, but big, creepy and dangerous creatures. Basically, they, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, grey skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palp palpation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Ooh, Ooh that's not a nice feeling at all. I don't like that. Ah. <gasps> Sorry, my hair. Still getting used to the, uh, getting used to like the new style of it, but I don't think I'm a fan. Okay. Oh. Did I did I close that? Ooh, those sounds. Oh, Megan, that was her name. <laughs> Creepy aliens, hello. Oh, knock the chair over. You clumsy fool. Hello. Oh, this is open. <clears throat> Peekaboo! God, there's so much, so much to read. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctors dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. What's that? A little jar with a strange device. Oh, he cut it out. Jesus. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Yeah. Jesus. That does not look like a very sharp knife. <clears throat> Photo of dead animals. Probably these animals from Grayswood Farm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hmm, what's this? Hmm. 
Hmm, let me, uh, fix the lion. Seem to be quite yellow. I'll just leave it as it is. I should really just tie my hair up, just so it's not in the way. What the heck? Oh, it's the way the, um, oh. <laughs> It was the way that the TV was, uh, the lighting and everything. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. Hello. <laughs> the hell was that? You see how tall he was? Damn, he was tall. Time to go. Oh, there's more in the sky. Oh. I think it's time to go now. <laughs> time to go. Shift. Run to the car. Yep. Time to go. Go, 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 go. Time to 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 go. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Look at that, so cool. Oof, very bright. Oh, that's so cool. Look, mommy, it's a UFO. Time to go. I just got the chills from that. <laughs> Is that it? In the full game you will find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. I liked that one a lot. Yeah, we will add that to wish list. I will quit the game, but I'll make sure to add that game to wish list. That was so good. That was really good. I enjoyed that one. I love a good alien horror. <laughs>